not talking to everybody in this room. But I'm only talking to people that know how to go up to the high place. I need intercessors. I need some prayer warriors in this room. Because there's some people in here who are carrying something and they don't even know how to pray for themselves. But I need intercessors on the wall. I even need some of y'all to walk in the hallways. You can walk in front of this church, but I need every person in this room to find your prayer posture on how you talk to God. Some of you, you might sit at your seat. That's fine. It does not, it does not suspend the functionality of your mouth. I need every person in this room to open up your mouth right now. And as a body, we're getting ready to call on fire and glory. Open, open, come on. Come on, Zion, begin with the quake. But come on, open up your spirit. Zion, open up your spirit. Father, tonight your people, we've come tonight for no other reason. We've come tonight with no other assignment. We want fire and we want to experience glory. Father, whatever's not like you in this room, search this room from the inside out. Search our minds, search our hearts. Search our souls. Purge us tonight. Make us clean tonight. We want to ascend to the holy place. We want to ascend to the high place. So remove every stain from us now. Drive out every sin. Drive out perversion. Drive it out of us now. Father, we want to ascend to the high place. Father, we want to experience your fire. Come on, people of God. Open your mouth. Let the fire of the living God. Fire of the living God. Burn in this room. Touch every area. Touch every place. Come in now. Fire of the living God. Come into this place now. We want to feel you. We want your fire tonight. We want the 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 fire tonight. Come on, open your mouth now. Come on, open your mouth. All over this room. Come on, open your mouth. Fire! Fresh fire! Hit this room tonight! Fresh fire! There it is. You don't need music. Open your mouth tonight. Come on. the revealed manifested presence of God and when the glory of God hits a people anything is likely to happen and I believe we are close to seeing the wave of glory come on pull on somebody and tell them I'm getting ready for anything to happen of God happens the glory of God comes when there is a collision between the heavenly realm and the earth realm when the barrier that separates the two realms is removed a 
God in his infinite mercy steps out of his realm into our realm and people the world over begin to sense his presence like never before I need somebody to tell the Lord show us your glory I am a consented Jesus. Well, Bishop Ellis, how do I know when the glory of God has hit my life? You know when the realm of heaven in your life supersedes the realm you are living in. It means you in the earth realm, you know you're facing a dilemma. Because the heavenly realm supersedes the realm you're living in you know what you're dealing with but you're not concerned about it because you know the God who reigns in the realm of heaven has stepped down into the earth realm and now his realm supersedes the realm you live in I don't know who I'm talking to somebody in Germany Somebody in India, somebody in Africa, Canada, America, the Caribbean, somebody in the Bahamas. But God is getting ready to supersede in your life. I need somebody who can sense that I'm talking to them. Wherever you are now, throw your head back, lift your hand up, open up your mouth, and give God the glory. And so my brothers and sisters everywhere I am reminded of the time when God summons Moses onto Mount Sinai and it was there that he gave him the two tablets and then he told him to tell his people some things he wanted them to know and then God said to Moses let your people know I will take them into the land of promise let your people know Everything that I promised their forefathers that I would give to them, they're about to receive it. He said, but I want you to let them know that because they have been a stick-necked people, and because they have walked in disobedience, I will fulfill my word, but my presence will not go with them. Moses was overwhelmed and like a great shepherd and pastor, he was concerned about the well-being of his people. And he said, God, while I would appreciate all of the blessings in the land of promise, while I would be grateful for the land and the property and the homes and the cars and, and the money and everything you want to give me, if your presence does not go with us, I'd rather stay here in the wilderness. And I'm talking to some people tonight who made up their mind that they prefer to stay wherever God's presence is than to go into a land of promise where there is no presence of God. Any day now, my friend, I expect a wave of glory, glory to God, to hit your life. And as we anticipate this coming wave of glory, the record is, if you declare a thing, it shall be established for your sakes. If you're listening to me now in your vehicle or you 
watching me or listening where there's nobody else around shake hands with yourself and tell yourself a wave of glory is coming if you're standing here in the sanctuary find at least two or three people and with everything you've got tell them get ready for a wave of glory oh come on church you gotta get the devil angry and give God the glory find three more people and tell them Come on, lift your hands in the presence of the Lord. Come on, I can feel him in the room. Somebody lift up a shout in this room. Come on, let me hear a sound. He is waiting, he is waiting, he is waiting. Come on, raise it, raise it. Another wave of glory Send another wave of glory Send another wave of glory, Lord oh. Lift your hands and tell the Lord
living God is He's wrapped up in His glory I need you to grab a neighbor's hand And just stand looping And say show us your glory Lord Oh come on church Show us Lord show us your glory Lord show us your glory Lord show us your glory Oh I can't find the church I got to find the real church now I got to pull the red man up I want you to grab a man. 